Boy, well, unless the girl from Harry, and um, I'm on the way home from Portugal, Porto, last name Porto. And what I was thinking, we only learn from, we only teach others from my lessons, and um, I've been thinking deeply about fear and what holds us back, um, and what keeps us inside our head and trapped in this um, trauma that we've all suffered from birth, and then made worse, most of us, by the Matrix. The root cause of everything is fear, I feel. Um, fear is a pandemic, not corona. Fear is the real pandemic endemic. And fear <laughs> that is allowed to grow in us and cause that trauma traps us inside our head and overthinking. And that takes away our self-esteem and confidence and it keeps us present from the moment. So the more fear you have in life, the more trauma, the more fear, the less present you are. But it sounds depressing. But not really, because the way out of trauma and healing and fear is right through it. It's to face your fears. When you face your fears, each baby step action towards your unique fears that you face um, puts you a little bit more outside your health, outside your head puts you a little bit more in the present moment. And if you keep making, facing your fears a daily um, habit, it will transform your consciousness and your journey, and it will start to heal your brain and allow you to be more present. It allows you to be more present around people if you're socially anxious. It'll allow you to get good at public speaking if you're afraid of what people think of you and standing up in an audience. It will allow you to be brave. Basically, the more fears you have, the truth is the luckier you are as an individual because the more opportunities you have to grow. If you are stuck inside your head overthinking things and because of your fears and that makes you wait for the less from the present moment and you want to experience the present moment, you want to experience freedom and not caring what other people think, then face your fears. Because ultimately, the biggest fear we have is of dying um, and ego death. But it's silly, because A, we live forever for entity, but even these minor fears we have on a daily basis, aka what other people fear, think of you, doesn't really matter. And I can say that logically, but it's good to practice not caring what other people think of you by speaking your truth, by facing your fears, whatever they mean. And remember, I'm going to leave you with one lesson on fear. Please don't face your fears too much and go crazy, because you won't be able to metastasize um, the experience, as David Data says, you will freak yourself out if you face your fears. You face, you go too far outside your comfort zone, you face your fears too much. So remember to baby study it. And also with baby studying your fears on a daily or a frequent basis, you start to learn lessons better. You start to um, get stronger. You start to habitualize to new possibilities, to new levels of consciousness without freaking yourself out. Because remember, if you jump yourself to consciousness too much, that can also freak you out, aka when you take psychedelics and you've got trauma. So yeah, my point of this is just to, literally as I was walking, I was thinking, I'm inside my head, and the way to get out of your head is to face your fears. For me, as a socially anxious person, as soon as I talk to somebody, um, ask for directions sincerely, um, give com someone a compliment, or start a conversation um, with a beautiful girl, then at that point, um, I have faced my fears, and I feel great after it. It doesn't matter how people think of me. So I get rejected by a girl, don't care. Um, I ask a stranger for directions sincerely, and they don't understand and run away. That's happened yesterday. Some people are bizarre. They don't like talking to strangers at all, maybe COVID or whatever. So it's not about them, it's about you. And then as soon as you start getting out of your head, you feel better and better and better and better. And then you're allowed to be free of what others think. And when you're free of what other people think and you face your fears, you can just be yourself, your true, aligned, authentic self. So I hope you got the message. This is Holistic Health Harry signing out. Last day in Portugal. Have a beautiful day, people. I love you very much. Peace. Bye.